Hey, that's a soda pop from Soda Hughes, and we are looking at a comic today on the Malak channel. We're looking at Raiders. Now, I was previously aware of this one because I follow the artist, Krom. Really enjoy their work, a lot of great stuff. There's something very uh, satisfying and charming about the way they draw and color. Uh, really wonderful. I really like the spine on this one. I believe it's published by Dark Horse. From Daniel Friedman and Krom comes an original graphic novel about family, freedom, and killing monsters for loot. Uh, yeah, construction is good. I feel like that's pretty consistent with, uh, you know, most of what I get from Dark Horse. Glory is but an empty suit of armor. Mark. And it starts, and it's kind of wonderfully very video gamey. You know, the raiders, uh, what they do is they go into uh, respawning monster dungeons and they fight through levels to get better and better loot. It's very video gamey. I feel like it would make a wonderful video game. Maybe we'll get a raiders video game. That'd be cool. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's uh, kind of our protagonist and their little brother. There's going to be some spoilers uh, as we go along through the flip through. So it... Right off the bat, I'll say I think this one is worth getting. It's it's pretty cool. It's awesome. Uh, so if you're into uh, kind of fantasy or you like Krom's art or, uh, I don't know, you like uh, dungeon video games, <laughs> dungeon rating video games, uh, yeah, check it out. Get it. It's really not that expensive. Uh, I think I even got this one used, uh, but in good condition. Uh, and the protagonist is kind of always with, uh, I think, their little brother. who uh, you can tell is just uh, not quite mature. And uh, our, our main protagonist is kind of uh, talking about how, you know, he's getting older and this this is his last raid um, because he's found a woman he loves. He wants to settle down, but, you know, his brother is still just kind of screwing around. He's uh, kind of coming of age maybe coming a little too soon <laughs> and uh, going through, you know, the stress of growth uh, and just feeling in maybe inferior, insufficient, you know, wants to prove himself. He's bored and disappointed in the life his older brother has earned and wants. And so he sets off on his own. He's restless. Um, and unfortunately, he wants to... Uh, break into the industry and take some shortcuts and make some bad choices. Maybe gets in with uh, a bit of the wrong crowd, gets into, uh, you know, some poor circumstances and makes some rash decisions. Yeah, lots of wonderful art. Love the panels. And yeah, just the color palettes are splendid. So he ends up killing some of the uh, guard, but then confronts the Golden Knight, which he doesn't stand a chance against. You know, his brother feels a lot of guilt for uh, letting, him, letting him be on his own, but you know, what could he have done? And instead of uh, just allowing it, he decides to fight it. But he doesn't want that to really affect his wife, but unfortunately this means that his happy ending can't be. So he sends his wife with child off, and he goes for revenge. And I just love the locale of the, you know, the bishops and the way he gets there. It's just cool. A lot of great composition. Ooh, and then he goes hard. He just, I love these moments. Just the, when a character goes to abolish an organization and um, with you know, sort of disregard from themselves. It's like a suicide mission. I don't, I don't know. I think 
What movie would it be? Is it uh, maybe A Bittersweet Life? I don't know. There's a, I'm having a hard time thinking about it, but especially a lot of those Asian gangster movie films, uh, you know, where at the end the uh, character goes and just destroys everything, and a lot of times uh, they die in the end. And uh, yeah, our protagonist has one great final battle, and uh, in a way he gets a uh, sort of... Uh, perfect or poetic revenge which honestly I didn't expect uh, but unfortunately his wife and child now aren't going to have him so what's going to become of the child love the uh, final panel, the final page it's really wonderful uh, and I think there's uh, room for a Raiders too Maybe even a three, I don't know. I'd be interested to uh, see what the child does. But, um, I don't know. Uh, will it happen? I haven't seen anything about it from Crom, I don't think. But uh, maybe uh, after making this video, or maybe uh, I'll message them or do a comment or something saying that I loved it. Hopefully we get another one. And uh, I really appreciate that they included extras at the end. There's a lot of really cool insight into the process of creating, you know, something like this. So the character design, um, the way the storyboarding and page layout happened, how they, you know, did perspective for some of the uh, impressive environmental panels, uh, how motion and violence was uh, created, how the comic came from uh, the script, process of it working their way from inking to color really really cool stuff cover design look at all that loot don't you want that loot and yeah that was Raiders Krom and Daniel Friedman thank you guys for uh, creating this awesome little book hope for more eventually always look forward to uh, work by Krom thank you so much for watching this video be sure to like and subscribe check the description for my patreon it's probably the best way to support me so I can keep supporting other artists and sharing cool visual media you can get some benefits there like voting on what video will be uploaded next check out my original art collection and even get your name in the credits of videos so check it out I think you'll like it also, check the description for affiliate links, because sometimes that's a great way to uh, support me. And I just, I really hope I can keep doing this, and I love doing it. So, thank you so much, and I hope to see you again. Take care. You're